Hello and welcome back to the channel. The weather in the recent days has been pretty rough. Plenty of wet, plenty of wind, not very good for working out in the garden. In fact, not very good for concreting, which is what I was supposed to be doing out on Ambercross down by the River Amber. I've taken up, as you may have noticed, a couple of posts, uh, all of the uh, recycled plastic because it's been problematical over the years and I've decided that as it's now starting to move the track around a bit, shall we say, and uh, there's a likelihood of stock and locos being tossed into the water if they happen to come through at speed. I've taken it all out and I'm now awaiting the weather to turn again to a nicer few days and I will then uh, put in some shuttering and concrete a base all the way alongside the river. Anyway, less of that, more of where we are now. You may recognise this. This is Gilfachwen, which has um, come back into the shed or into the workshop, which is now my railway room. Uh, and I'm working on that now. But you may see here, this is all the track that's come in from the garden and I've stacked it there ready and waiting to uh, go back out again. Hasn't stopped me from working on the railway. Uh, and I'm now concentrating on, obviously, as it's a railway, putting in the track. And you can see here, there's the start of the, of the track. And of course, you've got to have a mug of tea whilst doing that. It'll come round here, as you can see on these uh, lines and the sleepers I've stuck down. And by the way, I'm using Brambright chairs, which are rather good for this particular job. And I'm using sliding on to 10 mil track. Let's move that out of the way a little less. Uh, well, this is something that was painted by um, the late Bryn Lewis. I have his um, layout called... Raven's Rock. I had to think there for a minute, hence the pause. Raven's Rock, which is currently in store. Uh, I'm looking to move it on. It's an, it's an 0165 layout and it hasn't been doing anything for the last five, six, seven years. So it's um, about time I think someone else had the benefit of it. Anyway, so the track will, will come round here. This is just the main line. It's basically just an oval. Um, you can see it goes across and along here and round here. Uh, this paper template I put down is really for um, the yard. Uh, the yard for the slate, of course. Now, here is the incline, which is not in its final position, but it's up there out of the way. Give me an idea where I, I'm going on this you can see there's about a four inch or 100 millimeters all for those who work in centimeters 10 centimeters me being a, a retired builder a carpenter we work in meters and millimeters we don't work in drapers measurements such as centimeters <laughs> little knock there but from 1970 when we or thereabouts when we went metric it was all millimeters and meters as is feet and inches. Anyway, less of that. So here is the yard track, which is a little stub points, but I'm going to be asking Andrew Gadd to uh, print for me. Um, him of Boot Lane, he's uh, said he'd like to, so I'm going to say, well, there you are, there's the template, see what you can come up with. That will be the yard, and you can see here there's I don't know, we can just about see that. Let's move in a bit. There we are, look. It's very, very crudely put in. That'll be the splitting shed. As the slate will come down from along the top, there will be a rock face between there and there. And I'll have a track along the top there where uh, the Hunslets will run along with the loaded slate ready to come down the incline for splitting. Well, that's the story. Anyway, uh, there will be, the track will come through here, by the way, and round, and it will probably disappear off around behind this. I haven't made my mind up quite on that yet. Um, go behind through a typical slate tunnel or slate block tunnel, 
out round the back and round and round and across and then join up with Gilpak when again here. As you can see, I've already got a bridge ready, although it's been damaged in storage. I'll have to repair that. But it'll all come round here and all this here will be as if like Dinorwick and Penryn, a slate face, rock face. <coughs> So there we are, though. We're starting to get a move on here on the on the old layout. And I thought, well, you know, it's best time to do it when it's wet and when it's cold. As I have a radiator, which you can see there in here, it keeps it warm. I have all the uh, creature comforts, uh, wooden floor, not a concrete floor. And this was my garage. And then it became my workshop for my business, which was carpentry and joinery. And I used to make windows, doors, staircases stuff like that in here in this small space here actually that wall was well I don't know where you can see that but there's a line down there and it, the wall finished there and this area here and further forward of another six or eight feet was my workshop it's only nine foot wide but I did make some big bits of joinery in here anyway that's my waffle um Please keep tuned um, as uh, work progresses. I will be putting up some more video and um, your comments, of course, will be very welcome. <laughs>